Who said electric cars aren't cheap? The new Tesla Model 3 became cheaper than the Toyota Camry in California. We have all been waiting patiently to hear more about the rumoured $25,000 electric vehicle that Tesla has been reportedly working on, but it turns out that it's kind of already here for Californians. Although the base model Tesla Model 3 with a single motor and rear-wheel drive is listed at $40,240, residents of California have the potential to save more than 35% on the cost of purchasing this vehicle by taking advantage of various state and federal incentives which will reduce the price of a Model 3 down to just $25,240. How will this tax credit be issued and is Project Highland complete? Tesla seems to have already reached a price balance with certain trim levels, in contrast to other automakers who predict that it won't be until the end of the decade before there is a pricing balance. As a result of Elon Musk's confirmation that all trim levels of its all-electric sedans are eligible for the full $7,500 tax credit, the price of the Model 3 has just become 1.6 times less expensive than the price of a Toyota Camry in the states of California and Oregon. Compared to the price of a Camry, which is about $26,320, you will also save an additional $1,000. The federal incentives are a giant leap for Tesla, contributing to Tesla vehicles reaching price parity with gasoline-powered vehicles. They can even be found at a lower cost in some cases. Consumers interested in purchasing a new electric vehicle will find that this year is a good time. According to the opinions of industry experts, prospective buyers of automobiles are keeping a close eye on the passing of the inflation reduction legislation. If you are ready to buy an EV that currently qualifies for the EV tax credit, you should jump on it, as recommended by Jay Turner, an environmental studies professor at Wellesley College. Things might get more complicated next year. The purpose of the new law is not simply to increase the desirability of electric vehicles in the hopes of convincing more motorists to switch to electric vehicles. It is also seeking to rev up the nation's domestic EV production to enhance made-in-USA inventory. It tries to strike a balance between the two objectives by gradually phasing in multiple policies. Manufacturers of green vehicles such as electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids are now eligible to receive federal tax benefits as of January 1, 2023, courtesy of the US government. The Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 made some electric vehicles eligible for a tax credit of up to $7,500. The Tesla Model 3 is one model that qualified for this credit. After qualifying now for full tax credits, this model is now cheaper than it has ever been. All configurations of both Model 3 and Model Y qualify for full credit. In addition, many states have introduced rebate programs for customers interested in purchasing environmentally friendly vehicles, contributing to additional price reductions for consumers. The state of Oregon has stated that residents of the state are eligible for a rebate under the Oregon Clean Car Rebate Program if they buy or lease a car with zero emissions. Additionally, the initiative seeks to lessen the state's reliance on fossil fuels by making it easier for residents of Oregon to acquire or take out leases for automobiles with zero emissions. Based on the official launch data from Tesla's website, starting with the initial price of the Model 3, this tax credit will enhance the demand for the Model 3 or a more practical example. Model 3 will receive a total deduction of $15,000 from the initial $40,240. This deduction includes the IRA EV tax credit of $3,500 from the federal government and the Oregon Clean Car Discount Policy of another $2,500. However, we shouldn't forget the prepaid refund for customers buying cars at dealers in Oregon, which is $5,000. In addition to all these discounts, after calculating the total adjusted cost that the customer has to pay, it is only two-thirds of the initial price for a brand new Tesla Model 3. However, what is more interesting is that the Tesla Model 3 rear-wheel drive is one of the vehicles that can receive the federal tax credit offsetting $500. Customers in Oregon who purchase a new electric vehicle will receive various benefits due to this policy. In addition, Oregon does not impose a sales tax, which enables consumers to save a sizable amount of money compared to the cost of purchasing vehicles in other regions. 
Furthermore, you can save up to $5,000 more by taking advantage of the Oregon Department of Environmental Quality program. This is almost the largest discount rate in the United States. For example, if you live in Massachusetts, you can get a Model 3 with rear-wheel drive for only $29,240 after factoring in the $3,500 EV refund and the $7,500 federal tax credit the state offers. Fortunately, Oregon is not the only state that provides rebates. Many other states do as well, like California. Regrettably, the state of Texas does not currently have any incentive programs for electric vehicles. It only has a rebate of up to $2,500 available through the Texas Emissions Reductions Program, which means that the consumer needs to prepare a budget of up to $35,240 for this deal. Buyers have also been waiting for Tesla to lower the price of the Model 3, and it is anticipated that after their Highland project is finished, future prices will drop even further. If Tesla reduces the price of this vehicle, there will be a surge in customer interest in purchasing one. This is the tipping point at which the market for the Model 3 opens up extensively. On the other hand, qualifying customers who purchase a used EV may be eligible to get a tax credit of up to $4,000 or up to 30% of the price. Back in Oregon, based on Tesla's website, a used Model 3 may be purchased for $31,700. However, after taking into account tax reductions and incentives offered by the state of Oregon and California, the price drops to $20,200. In Texas, the price of a used electric vehicle will be $25,200, which is not much of an increase over the national average. This is pretty much everything you need to know about the pricing for the Tesla Model 3. So now let's take a look at how Tesla is testing the Project Highland Model 3 with the new updates after a quiet few weeks with no sightings. The Model 3, now five years old on the market, unquestionably needed an improvement, and Project Highland is intended to provide that upgrade. One of the primary goals is to reduce the production cost, which, if successful, will presumably make it possible to lower prices. One of the ways to accomplish this is by reducing the total number of components used in the vehicle's cabin. However, there will also be modifications to the exterior. The front and the back of the Tesla Model 3 test vehicle photographed while being tested in the field had been wrapped to disguise it. This led to the widespread belief that the front and rear sensor package will play a significant role in the upcoming upgrade for Project Highland. Many people were astonished to hear that Tesla's newly released Model S and Model X cars include the same number of cameras as HW3 vehicles, even though Hardware 4 enables more cameras to be installed than in HW3 vehicles. Project Highland is intended to address these concerns. Three new cameras will be installed on the car. One will be located in the middle of the front bumper and the other two will be mounted on the car's sides. The enclosure of the fender cameras will now accommodate two cameras in each. The current orientation of one will remain unchanged, but the other will change to point in the opposite direction. It is not entirely apparent how the new camera will be oriented, but we have a hunch that it will be aimed off to the side to provide the vehicle with a better view at certain intersections. Hardware 4, Tesla's most recent supercomputer, will be included in all units of Project Highland the cameras are anticipated to be identical to those installed on HW4 Model S and Model X vehicles. It is said that these cameras have a resolution of 5 megapixels and an anti-glare coating. These cameras are a significant technological step over the current HW3 cars cameras, which are just 1.2 megapixels in resolution. It is possible that Tesla now possesses all it requires to deliver a genuine bird's eye vision, as is typically found in various vehicles, thanks to the newly installed front bumper cameras and the two extra side cameras. That's all from this video. How do you think this price reduction and tax credits will affect the competition? See you in the next one.